Hi everybody and thank you so much for joining me for this week's care tip. This week's tip comes from Rob Kohi from Twitter. He's also known on YouTube. Rob is a veteran, he is a coach and also a little bit of a cat ninja. And his tip this week is model up the same part but use some different techniques such as extrude, revolve, sweep and loft. And I think that this is an excellent tip. I have met many CAD users who say that they really didn't get comfortable with their CAD software until they kind of like threw their daily routines out of the window and try to model something up on their desk like a stapler or a coffee cup. And I think that's because we have this tendency to kind of like get stuck in what we know, right? And we're just doing things over and over again. And if you don't challenge yourself, you don't really get to uh, go in there and explore some of the different things inside the feature. So I picked this uh, tape dispenser that I was gonna model up here with, the, with these different techniques from Rob. So the first one might be obvious, just that, uh, you know, sketch around the perimeter and you can extrude it up and uh, then you could start a second sketch where you could do the whole through. Now, of course, you could also choose to just have done the whole in the first sketch you created. And the only reason that I would really recommend that you maybe split it up to two different features would maybe be if, if you knew that that hole was gonna change in diameter or maybe move location. Second one is the revolve, and we used the revolve in the last week's video. Now, in this case, I just have kind of like a rectangle. I have a center line, I'm just gonna roll, revolve all the way around there, make it kind of like a donut shape. Now, the next feature I'm gonna throw in there, uh, this is maybe where things get interesting uh, with this exercise here, because this gives you an opportunity to kind of like play around with maybe some settings you normally don't do. Because there is a lot of settings inside of, of these features you can use. Not so here where I can drag each end and, you know, doesn't have to always be around when you're doing a revolve. I actually had a little bit of extra fill with another revolve feature up here. And don't forget that, of course, you can also cut with the revolve, so revolve cut to remove some stuff. Next one is the sweep. Uh, now, the sweep needs two sketches. It needs a profile and it needs a path. So the path is blue here. And you will see the profile that I actually added some radius to it. So when you're using the sweep, you will see how you're kind of like following, the profile is following that path. And think about piping. Uh, those people are definitely using sweep a lot, tubings and that kind of stuff. Last one is the loft. Now the loft is kind of cool. That is uh, normally some different layers and then you can have the sketches on the different layers and then you're kind of connecting the different ones, almost like a storage building that you kind of like connect, connect, connect. One of the things you gotta make sure here uh, can be something about having enough elements and things like that. But there's also a lot of features in here how you can control uh, the transition between two sketches. So really, really cool. I think that was an awesome tip from Rob here. Really appreciate it, thank you. And as always, would love your comments down beneath. Love it. And don't forget also to subscribe, right? We uh, love when you do that. So thank you so much for this week's cat tip and I will see you next week.